Welcome back to the Fanboy Cantina. In this video, we are talking about my quest for a G.I. Joe classified scale Hiss tank or the Ghoul RC Crawler Ripsaw tank. But before we get started, please take a moment to subscribe to the Fanboy Cantina. We cover all kinds of things about Star Wars, about Marvel, about Lego, about G.I. Joe. Join the Fanboy Cantina. We'd love to have you. I have mixed feelings about the G.I. Joe classified line. For the most part, I like the designs, I like the figures, I don't like the distribution strategy or the exclusives, the lack of availability. Some of the accessories I do not like and so I've enhanced the figures with Marauders or Valivers or Tomitex little armory weapon accessories. For me, G.I. Joe has been about the figures as well as the vehicles and accessories to go along with it. And that's true for the three and three quarter inch scale as well as the 12 inch scale versions of the action figure. So I was drawn on Amazon to this listing for the Ghoul RC RC tank car that's 1 12th scale so should be the size for G.I. Joe classified priced at $75. The toy is clearly based on the Ripsaw. The Ripsaw was originally designed and developed by How and How Technologies that company was later acquired by Textron in 2019. There are multiple variants and iterations of the Ripsaw tank. And if you look at the thing, you can see a little bit of the Hiss tank in there, right? And in fact, a version of the Ripsaw was used in the 2013 movie G.I. Joe Retaliation. So I decided to go online and pick one up. With all of that context, let's open it up. So this is the packaging as it arrived, and you'll notice the name is a little bit different, right? It says Crawler High Speed Drifting Vehicle 112th Scale. So that's a little bit different than the name on the Amazon listing. The package was a little bit banged up in uh, the shipping from Amazon, but uh, the contents were fine. On the back, you can see the two colors available, the black and the white versions of the RC tank. Inside there are instructions and the instructions are available in English. You know, having it in person, I really like the look of this thing. When I ordered it on Amazon, I was skeptical. I wasn't sure that what I saw in the pictures was going to be what arrived at my doorstep. And it actually looks really great. The doors open and close. It lights up. There's space in the back for you know storing stuff, I guess. There's printed pieces here, right? It says military police and you got the numbers on it. Um, it is not black. It's more of a dark gray, clearly, uh, but a lot of great detail. And you know, it's a remote control tank on top of it all. This is the controller and I'll say the controller feels very cheap. The plastic feels thin, uh, but it does have the wheel for steering as well as the trigger for speed and forward and backward along with an on and off switch. This is the rechargeable lithium ion battery. Like any time you're using one of these things, you're gonna to wanna to be careful when charging and managing and storing your rechargeable batteries. So this footage is from my first time interacting with the tank and uh, listen to this sound. So you can hear how hollow that plastic controller is. Um, so let's uh, turn it on. So we've got the controller flipped on and we're gonna flip on the tank. Here we go. So nice 360 movement with the tank. It's a little bit hard to you know, delicately pull or push on the controller to make it go at a slow pace, um, but quite responsive. So remember though, I got this for my G.I. Joe classified action figures. I wanted to, you know, see since the doors open up, 
would I be able to take a G.I. Joe classified six inch action figure and put it in there? And unfortunately, the answer is no. It's, it's not going to fit at all. It's only going to fit if I seriously modify the tank or chop off you know, the legs of the G.I. Joe classified action figure and do some other modifications. It's really not going to work out, uh, unfortunately. I, you know, I guess I could put it in the back, but you know, that doesn't look right either. So looking inside, as you might expect, there's no leg room, because why would there be, within the inside of the RC tank. I did take a three and three quarter inch uh, action figure, and I put that into the tank. And even then I had a tough time, because again, there's no leg room. And um, I mean, it can uh, you know, kind of be done. It works better on the passenger side where that, uh, you know, the the uh, steering wheel thing is not in the way. And you can put an action figure in there and close the door soundly. So that was a little disappointing because I really wanted to use it with my G.I. Joe classified action figures, but I think it looks, you know, generally pretty nice next to them. I think it's a very nice looking piece. I think it probably works better with three and three quarter inch action figures, though in that case, it may be a little bit on the larger side. All right, let's have some fun with it. Let's take the tank outside and see how well it does. Really impressive range on this toy. According to Amazon, it's got a range of 80 meters. So what is that? 260 some odd feet. Really impressive distance. I couldn't tell you the last time I played with a remote control car. This was so much fun. My son and I had a great time playing with a tank. So much fun. You can see that it performed very well on dirt. We also tried it on pavement and grass and gravel. And generally speaking, it did well. Now, I did have some trouble on grass as well as on gravel with the tracks coming a bit undone. Uh, but that was easy enough to you know, just uh, you know, fix and put things back into, into shape. I love the slow-mo footage of the tank. So cool. Now check out the slow-mo of the acceleration here. That's cool. So post in the comments, what do you think? What do you think of the Ghoul RC crawler tank or the ripsaw tank, whatever we're going to call it? What do you think? You know, price at $75 and sometimes it's on sale on Amazon. You know, I think it's a good price for this RC tank. It may 
or may not work well for your preferences with GI Joe Classified, but it's so much fun. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. This has been the Fanboy Cantina.